It is the dream of every civil servant in Nigeria to own a house. Mr. Chinedu Eze's joy knew no bounds in 2008 as it was a dream come true when the Federal Housing Authority finally handed him the keys to a three-bedroom bungalow, having completed the necessary procedures to own a property of that size. However, his joy was cut short when in December of the same year, he received a letter from the FHA revoking the offer on the grounds that he did not make payments within the 14 days that was given to him, which was not true, as will be later revealed by investigations. He sought for redress in the court of law, but did not get justice. So he filed a petition against the housing authority to the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC. ICPC has really done a lot. I've gone to court on this uh, house and lost because I didn't have access to the documents that were in FHA file. But when I now invited a petition to ICPC, they were able to bring the file for my FHA and now they saw the documents, the payment that I made that was received even the day after I, uh, the offer letter was given. So when ICPC saw it, they now felt that justice has been denied to me and they persuaded the FHA to do justice. The ICPC swung into action, arrested and interrogated the FHA officials involved. Also, documents including the allocation file was recovered, scrutinized, and the ICPC was able to recover a house as a replacement for the one earlier revoked. Uh, it is a big thanks to ICPC. I'm very, very grateful uh, that ICPC has been able to resolve this issue for me. Uh, I thank God for and thank uh, ICPC for it, especially the investigating officer, Mr. Atta, who was very diligent and prosecuted this case until it has come to this level. Mr. Chinedu is happy that the ICPC has been able to recover a house for him from FHA after painstaking efforts from 2012 to 2014.